So I'm seeing a lot of patients with plantar fascia pain. And if you're having plantar fascia pain and you've been taught the Lodi taping technique, which is essentially creating an anchor on either side like this, and then taping across that I, I searched um, best plantar fascia taping technique and what I saw was a lot of this, the, the Lodi technique. Terrible. I don't like the Lodi technique. It works okay and it supports the plantar fascia slightly and it definitely gives more proprioceptive, <laughs> proprioceptive sense to our brain, but um, it doesn't work in replacing the plantar fascia or uh, even supporting it. So there's a better technique and the name uh, eludes me right now, but the best technique I've seen for plantar fascia taping, if you're having plantar fasciitis or fasciosis, is to anchor on the big toe right at the base, just like that, and then to wrap around the heel, get it nice and sticky there, come back around to the same spot and go there. Now, you can go up onto the toe a little bit or wrap around like that, but you just have to make sure you get past this joint right here. So, and just stick those down. They don't always stick great, but you do the best you can. Then you go to the second toe. Same thing, right there, come all the way around. Now the important part is when you come around here, if you zoom in right on this spot, is the next time you come around, you don't go on the same exact spot. You go either slightly above or slightly below. Now, I like to go slightly above in this case, because if you go on the same spot, it just digs into the back of the heel, and that is no bueno. So, all the way back like this, back here, and to the second. Then, tie that down, make sure it's nice and secure. I mean, you have to make sure they're dorsiflexed 90 degrees at the ankle the whole time. Should have mentioned that in the beginning. So the next time I'll go to the third right here, and guess what? We do the same thing over again from third all the way around. Again, pick a different spot. Perfect, right back down. So I lay that down first, then come to here. The problem with this technique is you can't do it to yourself. It is impossible. And when you do it, you don't want these strips to be to have holes or uh, ridges in them. So you want to kind of flatten that out as best you can, which is hard. There we go. So down like that. And then I would lastly do one more on the first because that's the most important one. Usually we're stressing the plantar fascia on the inside there. And that's usually where people are having their most pain. So again, find a different spot tack that down, and then come back to the same spot there. So now, once you get there, you can do some straps over here. Uh, those just look like this, just to tie it all together, but I usually find that those are unnecessary, that usually just this part is most important um, so that it stays nice and secure. So go ahead and walk on that tape. Tell us how, how that feels. Feel like good support? Oh yeah. It's pretty surprising, isn't it? Yeah. So that's the best uh, tape job I've seen for plantar fasciitis, fasciosis, and it works a lot better than the Lodi technique. Thanks for watching.